Welcome back to the Mullen Performance Audio YouTube channel. We have a set of new set of component sets for uh, the channel today. Uh, we're going to check out the Savard uh, Wrap 65 component sets. Uh, six and a half two ways, 120 watts max power. Max power, right? Um, we're going to check this out and we'll give you an unboxing and uh, we'll, I'll tell you what I think of them. So I did peek in there just to look at them, see what they look like, uh, but I haven't really pulled them out of the box yet. So uh, let me get you guys set up and uh, we'll see, uh, see what my thoughts are. Then I'll give you a video of putting them in here. We'll test them out. Give me a sec. All right, let's crack these puppies open. Let's see what we got. Now, right now I'll tell you, I do like the packaging. Um, that was the lackluster part of the uh, DDs was the packaging. Um, the uh, uh, sound cubes packaging was awesome. Um, this I would put kind of in the middle of that. Uh, it's still great packaging. I do like the idea that when you open this, you are presented what you bought. Um, something else I, when I opened it up, I'm like, yeah, I like that. I don't have to unpackage a lot of stuff just to see my what I had gotten. Uh, they did include a sticker, awesome. Uh, a little LED light. And um, one thing I did notice was I do like the speaker covers. Oh, yeah. Hex pattern, little Savard logo. Um, yeah, I like how, I like that design. It's not too crazy. I like the speaker cover better than all of them so far. So do like that. Um, okay, so they got a little, pl that's kind of nifty. I wonder if the 85-1714 dash six zero p i wonder if that's the part number for that but i like that because it doesn't it's an extra layer of protection oh, that's nice okay big bonus points there uh surround very soft inverted dust cap nice little dust cap basket feels pretty thick for what it is uh, they do have a nice cap over the motor here. Um, it just says wrap 65 component, 125 watt max power, but it doesn't gives you all these other stuff on here. Uh, high tech speaker systems. Oh, okay. I thought it was uh, tech specs. They were ne never filled in, but it's just uh, some more info. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Louisiana. I will say before I do this whole thing is that I ordered this. And then within an hour, they had created a shipping label. And then by that night, they had shipped it out. And then I waited one day, and the next day it was on my front porch. So, fastest shipping I have gotten so far. Good job, guys. Uh, let's see here. What else? Cone feels pretty soft. I have a feeling this is going to be kind of a, a warm sounding speaker. I know I haven't even hooked it up and I'm already making guesses here. Uh, we got a couple those tabs there. Those tabs are mounted on there really good. The other one I noticed on uh, the sound cube was a, the, it was solid, but the DD one was kind of floppy. This one's on there real good. Uh, tinsel leads are perfect. Uh, spider. For a little six and a half, feels pretty good. Um, yep. Feels like a nice, solid little unit. I don't see really, I'm, I can't really fault anything of this. Just a solid little unit. The, the, the cone is a little, the cone paper is very thin, but I have a feeling... That's not going to be an issue. It's just one of those things I can, you know, I'm afraid of. Like, if I hit, don't let your kids around these. That's what I'm saying. If you put these in your car, somebody's going to kick a hole in them. <laughs> of course, anybody that does demoing knows if you put six and a halfs or eights or anything in your doors or your kick panels, 
there's going to be somebody that's going to kick a hole <laughs> in your in your equipment. So, yeah, uh, let's get the other one out of here. They're packaged really well. They stay in the box. That uh, packaging was good too. Uh, they even had like paper tape. They use paper tape, which is something I noticed too when I opened the box. So, just little things like that is what what I notice. Uh, let's see here. We have should be having. Let's do crossovers. We have. Uh, these are kind of like the uh, sound cubed crossovers. Kind of. I wonder if they're all kind of basically shaped the same. We have a plus 3 dB. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have my glasses on. I can barely see this. Uh, plus 3 dB zero and then minus 3 dB tweeter level. So we can crank those puppies up or turn them down a little bit, depending on what we want. Everything seems to be laid out in here good. Uh, terminals are very well marked. They're marked just as good as anything. I do like the... Uh, the layout it's got two holes that was one thing i couldn't really find on the dd was the, the holes but maybe i'm just stupid and didn't crack them open but i could not find them but anyway these got two big old holes here to mount um thick plastic polycarb i guess uh they're also labeled up here but it's also labeled in here in case you lose this because uh i've done that before let's see here we got another i call them buckets or Tweeter buckets. They do have the mounting hole. You do have a hole to mount with. This one does not. The flats don't. Ooh, we got. Looks like the rings that hold them in. We got a little bit of. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that goes inside. The, we got a bunch of them. Bunch of. There, there's a tweeter. Let's see here. What is this? Oh, that's another tweeter and then another crossover. Okay, cool. Let's pull one of these things out. Oh, there's that pattern again, which I really do like. Um, won't know until I uh, get them hooked up. Ooh, I do like this, though. They have um, heat shrink on here. They have black glue on here to hold these in. And... They are solidly connected. Um, looks like they got about a foot of wire on them, maybe eight inches of wire. Uh, I do like that. I do like how that's my kind of, you know, not too fancy, not too, you know, the just my level of uh, of what I like. Not crazy. We'll throw one of these suckers in. We'll put the ring on there. I'll have to kind of, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyway, there's both of them. So we'll get these puppies hooked up. We'll see how they sound. Um, I did get the tables today for both sides of the uh, TV over here. And I will uh, get the table set up. Package good. These package down in there. Uh, so far, from what I see, I am uh, I'm impressed. Good job, Will. Good job, team at Savard. Uh, you guys have always. I this is my first Savard product, but I know you guys have been around in the industry. I know uh, Will's dad has been around, and um, he's been back in even back in my day. You know, back in the. Uh, mid to early 90s and i think he's probably been around in the 80s maybe the 70s i don't know um but uh they've always had good good setups good customers uh good people so i will uh take a look at this we'll get her all hooked up we'll see how she sounds let me get you guys off the tripod <sighs> we got the uh we still got the sound cubes hooked up. I was gonna switch back to the uh, Redline series, uh, but now that these are in, I might just go ahead and, uh, oh, I gotta zoom you guys out. Hey, 
amateur hour around here. Amateur hour, guys. There you go. That's just an unboxing right now of the Savard um, Wrap 65 component sets. We'll uh, we'll hook them up. We'll, I'll test them. I have to find a good song to test with you I, for you guys because my last one got dinged for a copyright. And even though it said it wasn't supposedly copywritten material or whatever or however it says it, I don't know. That's the hardest thing, guys. Being a music lover and being on YouTube and listening to music or showcasing music on YouTube is a hard thing to do. Because if you fart, if your fart sounds like jingle bells, somebody will copyright it. I mean, it's just, it's so frustrating. <laughs> you can't do anything. You want to listen to music? You can't listen to music because it's copyrighted. <sighs> YouTube's, YouTube's a beast, man. YouTube's a beast. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get around it. All right, guys. Uh, thank you to my patrons. You guys are awesome. Thank you to my audio family. You guys are always awesome. Uh, I keep saying I'm going to drop a merch line. I am going to drop a merch line. Still kind of building up a few things I want to do. Uh, that'll be soon. I know I keep saying it. I will get it done. Uh, we'll do some more testing. Uh, the worst enclosures on YouTube. Worst enclosure on YouTube videos. Are going to be coming up soon. Those will be uh, got some doozies in there for you guys. So um, it's getting to be almost it's two weeks from Christmas. So uh, we might skip a week or two, or but I will be back. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.